What's going on my fellow graphic designers? In this video, I'm bringing you a free stream overlay that you can use for your streams. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can customize it, edit it to your liking. And in the next video, I'll be showing you guys how you can actually make it from scratch. So definitely stick around if you guys wanna see that. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first you wanna do is go down in the description and click on that project link. And if you're a Photoshop user, all you wanna do once you open that link is go up to file and uh, save as a PSD. And then once you do that, you can just open it in Photoshop. But if you use Photopea, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do everything here. It's all the same, just different locations of tools and stuff like that. So once you're in it, it's going to look like this. And all you're going to do to edit the text is double click on it. Or you can go to your text tool and just highlight it. And I'm going to type in my name. So we got Cambit. I have a nice little effect going on already with the gradient. And we could just use the move tool to move it to the center. If you hold it, control, I guess you don't have to, but in uh, Premiere Pro, if you hold control, it lines it up, but it does automatically here. And if you want to make it bigger, just double click on it, type in a bigger number, and there you go. So now we got our text here. Over here, you could change your name as well, your social media. We got Cambit, Cambit, Cambit. We got three Cambits. You can move them over a bit. Or you can use your arrow keys to move them up just a bit at a time. And now what you can do to change the social media icons is to actually find it online. So, or in any graphics pack. So I have a graphics pack that has some social media icons. So you can use that or you could find them online. So if we just like search up Instagram or no Twitter logo PNG, PNG specifically, um, I'll show you what it looks like. So you're going to get a bunch of these. Let's just find one like this. Go ahead and copy that image and then control and V to paste it. Now, if you hit control alt T, you can resize it. Move it down over here or something like that. If you want to add different social media. You can do that with like Instagram, whatever you want. And then what I do is I double click on it, change the color to white. So it's, you know, sticks with the theme. And I also add the drop shadow because when you change colors later on, it's kind of hard to see if you don't add the drop shadow. So keep that in mind. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually change the color of this really easily. So go to this hue and saturation adjustment layer, double click on this box right here and just adjust the hue slider and it will change the color to anything you want. So it's pretty cool. And then once you're ready to export, all you want to do is go up to file, export as and PNG so you don't have a background on it. Make sure 100% quality, 1920 by 1080, which it should be by default, and hit save. And now it's saved on your computer with an awesome name. So now I'm in OBS. I know it looks really weird, but I'm recording OBS with OBS. And all you want to do is drag in that picture file if you use OBS. And now I'm going to move it. And you can see it's up here at the top. And you can resize it if you want. So that's how you customize it and bring it into your video recording software. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. So if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. I make a lot of other content like this. So don't forget to check it out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.